This could be your GDI engine with carbon buildup on the intake valves. And even if you don't own a GDI engine, as you can see, you still could have plenty of problems damaging your engine combustion chamber with carbon. And it gets even worse, guys. We'll get into that in just a moment. But as you can see, I've added a filter to the breathing side of the PCV system. Check out the mileage. We only had 2,500 miles between the last oil change. And that's when I changed the oil catch can. I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of oil catch cans, but you've probably been told you don't need an oil catch can because you don't own a direct injection engine or your direct injection engine is more efficient because it's using more fuel or injectors sprayed into the ports to keep the intake valves clean so you don't have to worry about that problem but as I stated there are several other issues you need to deal with that's probably why you're not getting at least 500,000 miles out of each vehicle. Now, as you'll see, this isn't just oil inside this cup after I emptied it in for you guys to see. There's fuel mixed in with this. Now that's part of the PCV process. Fuel vapors are brought in with it and this would have been burned in the combustion chamber. So what, it doesn't get on your intake valves, but it does go in the combustion chamber. Now you can see the sediment, that stuff is hard as a rock almost. Or, well, after it sits a while, that's how it happens with the carbon buildup. As you can see, there are many options. You can use walnut blasting or an intake valve cleaner if it's not too bad. Just be careful, you don't want to lose a straw like I almost did. In this video, I use Seafoam and CRC. But, use whatever you think works best. Now, you'll see that I pulled the PCV valve out. This way, I could clean it. Because guys, if you're burning oil, there's a couple of reasons for it. And it could be because of the PCV valve. You could have blown some seals. Don't let that happen to you. Now, check out some of the videos showing how to take care of those problems. Thanks for watching, Nate's Interactive Auto.